click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends this is a video for understanding of the color image processing chapter 7 of digital image processing the topic is noise in color images as in the previous chapter image restoration we have seen various noise models how the noise can affect the color images that we are going to see in this particular chapter so for color image we have gone through the fundamentals of colors the full image processing the pseudo color image processing the color transformations its particular smoothing the sharpening effect along with the segmentation into the two color spaces hsi and rgb so let us address the noise portion into the color images so here we can begin with the topic noise in color images the noise models that we have seen into the image restoration are applicable to the color images also we have seen that time the noise model of gaussian type and the uniform noise the exponential noise so those six models along with the periodicity into the noise we have seen here so usually the noise content of the color image has the same characteristic in each color channel but it is possible for color channels to be affected differently by the noise one possibility is for the electronics of a particular channel to malfunction however different noise levels are more likely to be caused by differences in a relative strength of illumination available to each of the color channels for example the use of red that is actually rejecting the filter in a ccd camera will reduce the strength of illumination available to the red sensor the ccd sensors are noiser at low levels of illumination ccd stands for charge coupled device so the resulting red component of the rgb image would tend to be noiser than the other two components of the images in this certain situation so here we have the example with the help of this particular figures so here we have portion a b c and finally d so figures a to c represents red green and blue components of the images corrupted by the additive gaussian noise of mean value 0 variance value is equal to 800 so as like in the earlier chapter for the purpose of image restoration either the blur was introduced into the image to degrade it or addition of noise so here the gaussian type of noise is added the mean value that generally we represent with the help of symbol mu is have the zero value and the variance that we use to denote with the sigma square it is having the value 800 so the resulting rgb image that is having the noise inside it can be represented into the part d here now let us see how the noise carries over when converting from one color model to another model see the fine grain noise tends to be less visually noticeable into the color image than a monochrome image how the hsi components of the noisy color image we can notice so this is the hue component saturation component and the intensity component of the figure d that we have seen into the previous figure so it was the rgb composite image after having conversion to the another color model that is hsi color model we get these three components so compared with the hsi components of the original image we come to know how significantly the degraded the hue and saturation components of the noisy images are just now we have visualized them on the another hand the intensity component that is on to the right hand side that is represented by figure c into the previous image is slightly smoother than the any of the three noisy rgb component images this is because of the reason that the intensity image is the average of the rgb images in cases when only the rgb channel is affected by noise conversion to hsi spreads the noise to all hsi component images the next figure we shall visualize to show an example here where the part a figure a shows the rgb image whose green image is corrupted by the salt and paper noise in which the probability of either salt or paper is 0.05 here so here we have the four parts to show the images the part a here 
that is representing figure a rgb image with the green plane corrupted by salt and paper noise so only one component image is affected by the noise of this particular type which is also called as impulse noise the bipolar type the figure b represents the hue component of the hsi image here figure c the saturation component and figure d the intensity component the hsi component images into the figures b through d show clearly how the noise spreads from the green rgb channel to all the hsi images the reason here is that the computation of the h s and i components makes use of all the three r g and p components hence any of the individual input component is affected by noise that will be spreading into the output hsi components filtering of the full color images can be carried out on per image basis or directly into the color vector space depending on to the process here so for example the noise reduction by using an averaging filter if it is the case it gives the same result in the vector space as it does if the component images are processed independently other filters however cannot be formulated in this particular manner as in the previous chapter we have gone through the types of filters first of all the averaging filters then the order statistic filters so regarding the order statistic filters it actually is the example that includes this particular one that cannot be formulated the very popular type of order statistic filters was median filter you know, the reason why this is not belonging to have the formulation in this particular manner is that in color vector space it is necessary to find a scheme of ordering the vectors in a way that median makes sense so the neighborhood is to be considered here so this is the reason to have this particular topic understood so by the next lecture we shall be addressing the color image compression the another topic to conclude the color image processing so compression is obviously to save the memory if you want to have the storage or transmission of the image information so if you like these videos to understand the theoretical concepts of digital image processing along with the practical practices using the matlab software you can subscribe to ekda channel thank you